Hello and welcome to another video. I have officially moved into my new place so I can actually start making content again, which is great. So what we're going to be looking at in this video, because I want to start getting into the self-hosted AI and home automation side of things. And I want to start playing with Olama. Now I know I'm late to the party here, but what I'm going to do in this video is first I'm going to cover, let's just install it on a Linux VM that I have running in Proxmox and we'll see how well it performs. Now I know you need like a GPU and stuff for this and I have a Windows machine that has Linux subsystem on it, which I could use on there, which we're going to test in this video as well and see how well it performs on a GPU rig. And then I'm also going to try it on my Mac OS. So in this video, you'll get a, an idea on how it performs across the board and hopefully you know you fall into one of these categories uh, if you're not familiar with what olama is it's a ai language model essentially it makes it really easy for you to get into the self-hosted ai side of things it's like chat gpt but it's local and you run it all right and you can change the models it uses there's a whole bunch of them you can generate art all this stuff um, and it can all be run through here so we're going to play around with Olama, then we're going to install the web UI as well, which it gives it, you know, removes it from the terminal to like a browser. I'll show you all of it, so um, don't get too worried about that. So to first off, I want to try just run this on a bare bones VM on Linux with no GPU and we'll see how well it runs. We're going to be using an install script here. Uh, for some weird reason, I haven't had Docker play well. Docker just plays up when I try to run Olama and Docker. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or whatever. It just doesn't really work well. So we're going to use the all in one install script here. And again, if you're not too keen on just running something, you can always just check what the install shell looks like. You can just go to the URL, right? So for example, here it is. You can paste this in and get a bit of formatting, but uh, this is the script, right, that you'll be running. So we're on my Electron Cloud, which is pretty much one of my main servers that runs in Proxmox. It runs a lot of my self-hosted stuff. So we're going to paste this in and we're going to hit enter. And it needs root permissions, so let's enter in our password here. And there we go. So now it's just going to get that all set up, and depending on how good your internet speed is, will determine how quick this downloads. Right, so it's just downloaded, it's just made a user, and now it's just going to run and do this. As you can see there, there there's no GPU found, right? Which makes sense. Uh, but what we can do now is we can actually run Olama. So if we do um, Olama, and then I think if you just hit enter, it tells you all the commands you can do, right? So what we want to do is we just want to run a model, right? And again, Olama is like the main foundation and then Olama will allow you to run a bunch of modules. And there's a typical module, which is Llama, I think 3.2. So we could try to do that, right? So Llama run uh, Llama 3.2. And on their website, they show you all the models. So if I hit enter, it's going to pull that language model for us. And as you can see here, it's about two gig in size. We'll be back once this is downloaded and then we'll have a play and see how well it all actually performs. Now, I think a good test, I'm gonna run a test on all three of these, right? I'm gonna pretty much just ask it to generate a story. And let's just tell it to, um, we'll, we'll probably use the same sort of prompt across all three. So as you can see now, it's asking me to send a message. So if you're familiar with chat GPT and stuff, this is where we start communicating with it. So let's just say hello. And let's see how quickly it generates text back. Now, as you can see here, it's thinking. And if you use like things like ChatGPT that are using, you know, OpenAI's hardware, it's like instant, right? It's snappy. These responses determine are uh, determined on your hardware now, right? Like my uh, servers over there, and I bet you the fans are starting to kick in. This is no GPU. It's just using the CPU. It's a virtual machine, and you can see here it's taking its time uh, to actually just respond to a simple hello. And this is what I'm trying to show to you. Like if you if you still haven't crossed that bridge to Alama, just so you can understand what to expect, right? And there, here you go. Hello, how can I assist? I was probably gonna like assist you today or something. Yep. And is that it? There we go. As you can see, that took a little while, right? I don't even know how, if I want to ask it to generate a story, it's probably gonna take ages. So that's it running on a bare VM. Now I want to show you now Windows. Actually, let's jump to my Mac first because we're already on my MacBook. Let's show, I'll show you how quickly this performs on a Mac with an M1 chip. All right, so we're on my MacBook now. I'm going to run that pretty much that same command. Alama run, Llama 3.2. We're going to use the same model. I'm going to hit enter. It's already uh, downloaded to save time. So let's try the same thing. Hello. And I'm going to hit enter. And it's thinking. Bam. See how quick that was? That's the difference from like virtualization and using just CPU to using like an M1 chip and stuff like that. And that install command will actually detect if you have a GPU already. So there's no additional configuration. And I, I believe that Nvidia GPUs are the ideal for this or maybe the only thing that's supported. I'm not sure about AMD. But now let's ask this one to make a story. 
uh, create a story about someone self-hosting Olama. And hit enter. And there we go. Well, okay. It, it didn't want to do it. That was kind of dumb. What explicit content? <laughs> it's not even explicit. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So now it starts writing a story. Okay. So, and here we go. It's just going to generate that. And look how quick it's typing. If I tried that on the VM, you've seen even just saying hello, how long it took. So there's so much, the more processing power you have, the quicker your experience is going to be with these AI models. And this will come into context if you want to use image generation and all of that stuff as well. Right? So now I'm going to connect to my Windows machine and the experience is going to be pretty much like this, but I'm also going to show you the web UI as well, which gives it more of that chat GPT UI feel. Right, so this, so I've just shown you a llama, right? We've just installed it and had to play around with it and it was all run in the command line, but there's this thing called open web UI and let me show you that. So open web So if we go to get it, you can see how we can deploy it. I'll show you what it looks like in a sec, but you can see actually here, they've got a thing. So the ui looks like the chat gpt ui right and this is what we can use on the front end for a llama and any sort of language model that we want to use and i've got the whole install uh, steps here so you can install it via pip which is what i did uh, i didn't actually use a container for this either because i don't know my experience with docker containers and a llama and stuff like that just hasn't been great um, I probably have to play around with it more, but you know, we don't have to be just limited to Docker with the self-hosting world, right? So I just did the pip install for this and I, let's, sh I'm going to show you now the windows machine and with the open web UI. So this is my windows machine. And what I've got here is this is WSL, right? And it's just running Debian. And so we've got Alama installed on this machine here. As you can see here, this is serving it now. And it found the graphics card because I have a, I forgot what type of graphics card I have in it, like a 3060 or something. And that's what's going to do all the processing for us. And here you can see, uh, I have a prompt open for talking to a Llama via the terminal. So I can just say hello. And it's going to think. Now we, it locks up like this because I've connected via remote desktop. So don't let this uh, sway your view on how long it takes. It should be quick. Let me just try say that again. Um, there we go. So you can see how quick that was. Uh, right a story so you can see it lagging there that's just a remote desktop connection about self hosting and there you go you can see how quick this one is as well because we're using the gpu so you can see the difference between a virtual machine using internal cpu versus the gpu power right of the m1 or of an nvidia gpu so these are things to think of if you're wanting to go down this track but you can run these things on a raspberry pi but even then it's going to be a bit slow so just have that in mind and then in my third tab, I'm actually serving the open uh, or the web uh, UI, which is this here. So this is the exact same Llama th that we were talking to before via the terminal, but now we get a nice GUI. Let me just make this a bit bigger and uh, we'll have a play around. There we go. That's a bit bigger. And as you can see here, if we've got other models installed, we can actually search and download them here, right? And you can go to their website and find whatever sort of models you want. We're going to use that Llama 3.2 again, just so I can show you, you know, how it all works. So again, you can say hello. And there we go. We've just got a better UI and everything is tracked like Jet G uh, chat GPT as well, as you can see here. So chatting with a friend. Hello. Now let's ask it to write a story. Um, about a self hosting guru. That's not me. That's that's for sure. Again, it's lagging a little bit. There we go. Hit enter. And there you go. See how quick that is. So that's this is the key points I'm trying to get across. It's just how quick this stuff is. And you can do some cool stuff with this. You can have this talk to you. You can feed this through to systems. You know, this can be the backbone of your own uh, Alexa or whatever, right? So the reason I'm looking at this is because this will become the backbone of my home automation. I think I want to create like an AI assistant that I use for my home automation. So now that I have my own place, I'm going to, you know, set up the smart home stuff and really use home assistant where I can. So keep an eye out for that stuff. So that's pretty much the video. I just wanted to showcase, you know, where I'm at now and how Alama works. And, you know, if you're keen on using it, things to think about, especially with the processing power, you can see how much of a difference a GPU made uh, versus CPU in a virtual machine. I'm looking forward to playing around all of this stuff. This is definitely the first step. I'm actually going to look at implementing a Discord bot in our Discord as well. Feel free to jump into our Discord. A link will be in the description. Uh, join us there. 
maybe have a play around with the bot as well if i can get it set up um but yeah uh really looking forward to getting the content rolling again especially around the home automation and the ai stuff i know i'm late to the party with the ai stuff but that's just me i generally don't jump in straight away i like to watch and see what happens first and then i kind of jump in uh when when i want to right but anyway that's the video thank you so much join the discord youtube comments all of that good stuff to have a chat and i will see you in the next video have a good one everyone and bye bye